Do you guys know that there's like no one subscribing? Why aren't you guys subscribing? You need to subscribe and send me dog coin so I can finally buy my dog. I want a dog in my life. I need that dog. Please guys, anyway, just subscribe. <laughs>
red, green, and blue. I think there is some pink and I think some orange in here. I'm not 100% sure. So, I was wrong. There's no orange, but you're going to see the pink. So what does it look like? Well, I'll show you what it looks like right now. Boom. Green, red, and blue, and some pink right around here. Now, doesn't that just look odd? It, you know, should be flashing, or it should be one color, or it should be like green, then pink, then red, and then blue, and then, ugh. It just looks bad. But it's just a couple colors, and it doesn't line up that well. It's just horrible looking, you know? It, it feels weird. To me, it would probably be better if it just lit in one color. If I could have an option that says, oh, I wanted only to do red, green, or blue, I feel like that would be a better option. Because you'll see it in some of the footage that I just have for B-roll. There's like a, there's like red, green, blue, or something in that order, and it's not evenly mixed up. It just looks horrible. I honestly think that the design-wise looks awful, and a lot of people will be turned off by the design and not want it because it doesn't look good with any, like, anything. Like, right now I have a black and red setup, and this green and blue just looks weird. So, you know, I mean, it's like, ugh, ugly looking. So how is this mechanical keyboard? Well, if I'm being honest, I really do not like the RGB on it because it should just be one color. If we're talking about quality wise, I would say it's pretty decent for a first keyboard. Only if you're like a couple of my friends, not from Toxicity, but other members of my friend group who um, spend all their money on their PC and have no money for a <laughs> for a monitor or any other gaming peripherals. So this was $15. If you like literally only have 15 bucks to spend or less because I think I got it for $14.50, then you should buy the Sean Chow mechanical keyboard. If you want a backup, this is not a backup. You should get anything other than this for a backup. I guess if you want, I think this is called an 80% keyboard. I'm not 100% sure. Because the Razer keyboard that I have, I mean the Alienware keyboard that I have is like a huge 100%. It has all the bells and whistles. 60, 80%, whichever one this is, I think if you want another one just to have a smaller keyboard, I guess you should buy this if you have only 15 bucks to spend. But like I'm telling you, this one sucks. Like, don't buy it. I'm actually very impressed with how it is for 15 bucks. But I feel like, honestly, if I spent six bucks more, five to six bucks more, I would have an infinitely better gaming mechanical keyboard. And I'll test that theory out. Yeah, just don't buy it.